what are the best ways to get high and how would you rank them or how would you compare them against each other? This is a video or this is an idea I get requested a lot on my Twitch stream, which if you don't follow me on Twitch, I go live after 9 p.m. Eastern every night and we do a nice smoke sesh. So you should come chill with me over there. But I have a lot of people in my Twitch stream asking me to do a tier list, all kinds of tier lists. But this is the most requested tier list. What are the best ways to get high or the best ways to smoke weed and how do you compare them against each other? So without further ado, let's just just get right into the list. There were a few other templates floating around, but I had to put together my own because a lot of them were just missing a ton of options. And there's still some stuff I left out on this list, but let's see how everything stacks up. I'm going to go out of order here. I think some of these are like, I think this is an alphabetical based on what they saved the pictures as, but I'm going to go a little bit out of order here and we'll just kind of pick and choose random ones. So I would say on top of the list, the absolute top of the list, I got this image here for cold start dabs. You load the concentrate up in the banger before before you heat it compared to a regular dab it's faster it's easier it's more fuel efficient cold start dabs are the best way to get high most e-rigs a lot of other things do cold start hits so they're up there they're pretty good but a cold start dab off of a quartz banger is hard to beat that is top of the list that is the best let's get that out of the way we already know that that's the best there's other types of nails though like ceramic and titanium maybe you don't do as well with the quartz but this is cold start off a quartz banger see there's so many things you get out of the list i could have dabs off of different types of nails dabs at low temp stabs at high temp so there's so many ways to do this but let's just run with it all right the blunts i gotta get it out of the way poop tier well, who's smoking blunts you literally you turn your weed into poop it's poop tier it's the shittiest way to smoke weed you're like how do i take weed and make it shitty and you wrap it in tobacco blunts are terrible if blunts are on top of the list if you put blunts in s tier stop watching the video right now and go reassess your life there's something wrong with your brain i mean maybe if you're using hemp wraps or something else it could go a little higher on the list but shit tier just absolute garbage. What are you doing? I'm going to take joints. I'm going to put those on C tier. Just just because they're better. I think I had to pay them money to get like A, B, C, D, E, F. Uh, anyway, we'll, we'll just call that C tier. But it's right above poop tier. Right above shit tier is where joints are. There are differences in joints. Some people love joints. Some people, the only way that they can get high is if they got a nice fat seven gram joint and they smoke the whole thing. But better than blunts, still nowhere near top of the list. All right, what else do we got here? Bubblers, pipes. What do I got? I got all kinds of stuff. Dry pipe damn all right let's do dry pipe dry pipe is it's is so bad I, I who likes dry pipes i used to love them there's some really great glass work or gla uh, great artwork out there there's a ton of cool pieces i have a few cool ones but holy fuck it's a dry pipe they're hot you have like a 40 percent chance of pulling hot ash and hot embers into your throat and it's hot did i mention that they're hot dry pipes are hot okay bubbler we got the bubbler on the list i'd put that above a dry pipe i'd say is it's basically a dry pipe with water percolation. Bubblers are a little bit annoying to manage unless you have a removable bowl, but like cleaning the bowl out with a pipe, you want to flip it over and dump it out and make sure use some gravity to get all the ash out with a bubbler if you do that you just dumped water in all your ash and then you made your next couple of hits a little weird bubblers aren't my favorite but they're definitely better than dry pipes all right what else is on the list tinctures tinctures are actually pretty good i think tinctures they gotta be <sighs> Is a tincture as bad as a bubbler? I don't use tinctures a lot. I don't get them a lot, but it is one of those methods where you can get a lot of THC in you without having to eat like a bunch of stuff or take a bunch of capsules. Sometimes you can get more potent tinctures, but not all the time. I don't take them all the time. I'll keep those at B tier right now and we'll see if we want to move it around. Edibles. Where do edibles fall? I got a little brownie here. Damn, I'm, I might move this one a little bit based on how I feel. I don't do edibles that much, but you can get like intergalactic levels of high from edibles. I didn't take that many on 420. I think I did bong rips for the first time in a while, but I took like 420 milligrams, some chocolate, some capsules and stuff. I was high the next day when I woke up. Sometimes they just they get you better then you can get yourself with smoking. Edibles, definitely A tier. What else we got on the bong? What else we got on the list here? Bongs. Bong hits. I just did my first bong rips after about 110 days of not smoking on 420. And I'm here to say, if you're hitting out of a freshly clean bong with a clean bowl, down stem, nice warm water, everything, bongs are S tier, bro. You cannot beat a bong rip. Bong rips and cold start dabs are just like, they're so good. Now, if your bong has brown water in it from like 
three weeks ago and it's filled with ash, it, it goes way down on the list. But we got a fresh clean piece, S tier. All right, I have a few other methods here I wanted to cover just so we can get an idea. Vape pens, all right? First off, if you only do blinkers out of your vape pen, it's pooped here. You made it pooped here. It wasn't pooped here, but the method that you choose to hit it, i.e. blinkers, you're making it pooped here. Every time you hit your vape pen, you hold that button down for 10 seconds or so, pooped here. But if you're hitting them properly, you're hitting them right, I say B tier. It's a little better than a joint, but it can be worse at times. Most carts have distillate in them, which is like poop tier oil or poop tier dabs, but some of them with live resin, live rosin in the cart, some of them with higher quality oil can hit pretty nice if you're doing little sips on it, little two, three second hits. All right, what else we got? I'll do this one right after. Vape pods. Vape pods are very similar to vape pens however most of the time they hit a little bit harder some of them have more surface area for the heating element for vaping sometimes they have partnerships with like g pen or pax or other brands that make these pens so you get a decent quality product i would say they're better than carts pods are overall it's weird putting them in a tier though i feel like pods are like a b plus tier and vape pens are like a b minus tier like they're they're similar but different okay what else do we got on the list gravity bongs okay i have a little bit of a nostalgia factor with gravity bongs one of the first ways i got high something i've done plenty of times it's it's a classic when you fill up a bucket you chop off the bottom of a water jug a gatorade bottle, whatever you're using there's a little bit of nostalgia with gravity bongs for me however the actual hit on it it's been so trash it's so bad you're just filling up a plastic jug with smoke and just letting it get stale. Bro, every gravity bong ever I've taken was like yellow smoke that you just let get stale for a handful of seconds while you're filling it up. Bro, they're always terrible. You get high. You can get super duper high off gravity bong hits, but it's always the worst hit. It's so nasty. It's so terrible. Ugh. B tier. All right. <laughs> The, the high is so good. The nostalgia. Bro, how is that B tier? B tier. All right. Um, okay. We got a few other methods to cover. I want to make sure I get some I get some variety on the list. THC drinks. Okay. If you never had drinks, they're amazing. Edibles are cool, but drinkables. Oh my god. God, kicks in a bit faster. You get a nice high. Most of the drinks I've had, I feel like they kick in 20, 30 minutes after you start sipping. And it's like a really good high. I don't think they have a lot of THC drinks here in Florida. I haven't had a good one in a while. I'm not even quite sure what would be the best way to make them on my own. But I do know I love me some THC drinks. This list is a little, it's a little hard here because I think they're better than edibles. But do I think they're S tier? Yes. If I could get like a 500 milligram, like 16, 20 ounce bottle of some decent tasting juice. I'm putting this high on the list, but I currently can't get the types of drinks that I would consider S tier. I currently can't get them, but I know they exist and I know they're good. I would say maybe this is A plus tier and edibles could be like B plus, A minus tier. They're close. But the drinks are definitely better than the edibles. I'm kind of happy with the placement on this list. Let's see what else we got here. Fucking glowies. All right. I don't know why I felt like I should put this on the list. Most people, when they're dabbing, there's more people doing this type of hit, a fucking glowy off a red hot nail, than doing like a true low temp dab. I had to include it on the list. Most people are dabbing wrong. So I had to put their method on the list. Just because I'm not specifically doing this on every hit doesn't mean it shouldn't go on the list. This is the way I used to smoke or dab years ago. We've lived and we've learned. All right, glowies. Oh, God. You, you're basically combusting your oil instead of vaporizing it. C tier, still better than blunts. Um, all right, the next two are devices, essentially. Um, herb vapes, this will be like all encompassing with portables and desktops. And I still got a lot of people telling me, oh, bro, there's still 6,000 different vapes you haven't tried. Go drop $700 and try this one day. Okay, I don't, I don't have time for all that. Let's do where I think vapes are. I think herb vaping... I prefer it over blunts, obviously. I prefer it over, it's it's definitely not C tier. I like it better than dry pipes, joints, and glowies. I don't, I, it's definitely not A tier. I would say, yeah, B tier, it's kind of in the same realm. I don't use bubblers a lot, tinctures a lot. I don't even use vape pens a lot, but I don't, I don't hate anything in this 
in this B tier. It's not disgusting or it's not my least favorite like fucking blunts, but I'll say B tier. It's not, I made a video about how they could be better. It's not the worst, but I feel like they could get me higher. And last thing on the list is Puffco. Um, I did want to uh, give this one its own specific ranking or whatever. I was going to do all E-Rigs, but bro, none of the other E-Rigs are close to as good as the Puffco Peak Pro. I haven't used the new Cardi yet, but both the Dr. Dabbers, the Boost and the Switch, not as good. I haven't heard anybody talk about the G-Pen room probably not as good i've used the aspire dab not as good i've used a lot of other stuff just not as good but the puffco peak pro does some amazing cold starts and it's so convenient you literally load up your dab you hit the button twice or you hit the one button on your phone and you're dabbing and as long as you wipe your nail out or wipe your ceramic chamber out in between each hit it's gonna stay nice and fresh i would say e-rigs or high quality hits from an e-rig definitely s tier it, it rivals cold starts you get a similar quality hit but it's even easier like a cold starts easier than a hot start dab and then a cold start with a a puff car with an e-rig two button clicks that's way easier i mean looking at everything on the list overall here it's hard to know where everything's going to end up while you're doing it or i pretty much feel confident with everything here i would say maybe like drinks i could bump down one and edibles down one i feel like i really like drinks but even if i could get them regularly i don't know if i'd be hitting thc drinks every day but either or there i just know drinks are better than edibles could be about where we are there might be a few things on this list i missed or just variations of some of these like i could have put capsules on here which i like better Better than edibles if i would have put capsules on here i'd have probably put edibles lower on the list and capsules higher but i was kind of including capsules in my ranking here either way there it is blunts really only making him poop tier glowies are better than blunts even glowies are poop tier let's let's not fuck around with that glowies are if you're still doing glowies you're doing shitty dabs let's just leave it at that so again this idea was one of my more requested ideas in my twitch stream you should come smoke with me on my twitch streams we can't really do sessions on the tubes but we're probably getting high on twitch right now come join me if you want to hear about the highest i've ever been check out this story i hope you have a lit day my dudes